Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars of my dear friend, Nadia Shah. I am Yuridia Robles, and I welcome you to your horoscope for the month of July 2024. Dear Scorpio, this is a transformative month for you. Let me explain. Mars, your ruling planet, is going towards a conjunction you, with Uranus and you will perfect from the 12th to the 16th of the month. This is one of the most dynamic duo in the solar system. And we are in for a big surprise, the unexpected. And it is a must to pay attention to what we are doing. Yet we have to use it. So plan to do something creative that allows you to step out of the box. The interesting part now is that both will conjunct the fixed star I'll go. This is the most demanding star in the heavens. It has a rich mythology. Algol is the head of the Medusa. The story goes that Medusa was a very dedicated maiden at the temple of Athena. And Poseidon caught an eye on her. And after having seduced her in the temple, Athena got very mad with the girl and turned her beautiful hair into a horrific sight because it was turned into a maze of snakes. So every person who was caught in her gaze would turn into stone. It was necessary then that another hero, Perseus, and with the help and advice from Athena, beheaded Medusas and used the head to conquer his own enemies. This was needed in order to save his love Andromeda from peril. So what does this mean for you, Scorpio? Well, Medusa was a very sweet and innocent maiden and devoted to her duties and would not allow either feelings or reasons to get her out of her way. But then Poseidon comes or Neptune comes in and starts tempting her to agree to have a relationship with him, either willingly or by force. After the punishment, she was enraged and very dangerous to look at. This is the look you can sometimes hold on to. Letting go of the anger is essential for you to be free from the desire of revenge and getting even. If we do not make the effort to reason and be mature with your desires, then you risk losing your head, the same as Medusa. We are subjected to our rage, and in this state, you, we are very dangerous to ourselves and to others. At this point, we need to recognize what we feel, reason about them, and not in the sense of explaining or giving excuses or justifications. The effort goes towards acknowledging that the feelings are real, so we do not have to react blindly. Just the recognition is a mature act. We must let the anger or fear subside due to this understanding, and then we can do something different, creatively free from the grip of our own strong feelings. From the blood of Medusa emerged a beautiful being, Pegasus. It was a white horse with big wings that could fly very high. So from this lesson, this month, you are guided, hopefully and willingly, to integrate your maturity, your feelings and your thoughts. And from there, something beautiful has to emerge an inner state, a fulfilling relationship that takes you out of your known space into a higher realm, into a deeper understanding, comprehension, and knowing of who you are 
and can be in partnering situation. This is an ordeal and it has an element of surprise, innovation and a forced situation that we will have to deal with. From the individual perspective, the opportunity to make the best of this uh, conjunction is bigger than on the mundane or collective level. Therefore, if we believe everything we hear as a matter of fact without checking them first, then we are in trouble to distinguish what is truth and what is false. So if you get angry, pause to recognize from where the deep reaction is coming. From the 12th to the 16th, be on the lookout, be careful, try to stay conscious and pay attention to what you are doing. The new moon is on the 5th of July. This is the time when our feelings are at the strongest. We need to feel safe, secure and attend to our body. You feel safer traveling far away and nurturing special relationships with mentors, legal advisors and teachers. So now it seems that they have to inspire you and you might love them, but you also have to work on your own independence to strengthen your own power of decision, especially at work, where you have to prove to yourself in spite of the setbacks that you are capable of giving extraordinary results. So the new moon emphasizes the need to withhold drama or victimization, to grow and show that you can deal with whatever situation life is presenting to you without resentment and anger. It is in opposition though to Ceres in Capricorn. You must communicate in a serious professional manner nourishing as well your goals and aspirations with deep studies, learning new ways of dealing with whatever appears in your life. Also, the asteroid palace Athene is establishing a harmonious dialogue with the new moon, repeating the theme of Medusa, asking you to recognize between real needs and valuable goals. The new moon is the culmination of a process, an enormous one that began 14 years ago, in which every time the new or full moon happened in Cancer or Capricorn, we were asked to be mature, to reason, to understand our needs and match them to our goals in a sensible manner. Treasure all that you have learned and prepare to make something very concrete with it. Teach or mentor young people so you can pass the experience to others. The new moon is on the 5th of July. This is the time when our feelings are at the strongest and we need to feel safe, secure, and attend to our body. We must recognize how do we feel to be incarnated, aiming to find peace within. The full moon is on the 1st of July. This is the second one in the sign of Capricorn, but this time on the last degree. So we are into a summer of wrapping up things of the past that helped at the time but now we should let go in order to be free and ready for a new situation. Neptune is supporting this closure and Mars just entering Gemini at that time will give us the freedom to literally walk the talk. In matters of the heart, for those who are in established bond, the tri triple conjunction of Mars Uranus and Algol might help you cut the ties with resentment and anger 
to clear the way for a transparent and beautiful relationship. It might be hard to free yourself from toxicity, but it is certainly less painful than living with it. Being yourself without the pain of the past will certainly feel totally liberating. As for those who are looking to meet somebody new, present yourselves as mature, sensitive, but not gullible. This is also liberating from the grip of a fantasy that is exactly that magical, but not real. Focus exactly in the inspiration of an ideal, but don't lose yourself in it. What is amazing about this month for you is the strong possibility of freeing yourself from toxicity, anger and resentment, leaving you wiser, more mature and more importantly at peace. Enjoy.